Girl for you at the top of the show, which normally during the holiday season and Christmas in July counts. Sean saves Christmas with Courtney Claus is here on Saturday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern for three hours. I said at the top of the show, something in the show we have that Queen Elizabeth gave to grandson Archie last year. Did you read the story I about how this. she gave Archie a waffle maker for his birthday? Cute. Either his birthday or Christmas. I can't remember. Anyway, waffle makers, very cool. These super cute. They are personal size waffle makers. Brand new, one order of the year, never coming back. You are choosing either the gingerbread man, which is the white one, or the red snowflake. Oh, these are adorable. Now here's the deal. Comes with an 80 recipe cookbook that if you think this is just a waffle made for syrup, how about mac and cheese waffles? Thank you, ma'am. You only need to take three tablespoons of Bisquick or whatever your waffle mix is. Howdy do. Steaming hot, don't mind if I do. Little whipped cream, thank you so much. Sprinkles, why not? It's the holidays. And then a little syrup for good measure. Um, this is how you do the fresh version of frozen, which we live for in our house. So with one order of the year, I'm gonna walk you down the aisle here because do you know what we call waffles in our house, Courtney? What? We have a thing called a waffle A waffle This is Jagger's favorite breakfast. A waffle is a waffle, uh -huh. granted they're frozen, these would be way better, um, that has peanut butter and jelly on it. Oh my gosh, If yes. you want syrup on it, it's called a waffle Okay. Okay, so just putting out <laughs> I there. I love that. Clay Elder. Um, waffles live in my heart. They're in my daily um, routine with my daughter. And I'm gonna start making some right now for everybody watching. So I'm gonna pour all of the yummies in. This is the only part you Delicious. have to do yourself. And then Clay, since this is the first anyone's seen of this, but it's never coming back, I just have to keep calling out. It's the tiniest, cutest size for a dorm room. For a party of one, I live in an apartment. I mean, a big waffle maker makes big waffles for a big group. This is for you and you and you, or, you know, more than one, um, if you just keep making waffles. Or a prince. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or Prince Archie. Um, and it could do so much. I know that waffles live in my heart, too. I'm so glad they live in your heart. I have a four-year-old son. We make waffles almost every day. Uh, I'm going to say, I've. I, actually, it's every day, but I'm going to lie and say it's almost every day. And it makes these perfect, perfect, crispy, hot waffles every single time. And you know, there's just nothing better. A little bit of butter. And my favorite part is maple syrup. We actually, we tap the maple syrup from our trees outside. <gasps> and it is delicious. Oh, now see, you're just bragging now. I um... know. <laughs> oh, that's my maple syrup right there. That's the maple also, syrup though, from my bag. This, <laughs> this is a chocolate brownie waffle. Basically, if it's any kind of batter, if you have any kind of batter, cookie dough, biscuit, it will all go in here. And my son's birthday is coming up soon. And I, for his birthday, we are having a waffle bar outside. Yeah, baby. With all the toppings so that everyone can make here. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get crazy. I'm make, I made mac and it. cheese waffles here. So Nuts. I'm making a little what? bacon mac and cheese. I have to see this. Girl, it's it's oh. pretty bomb. Um, and by the way, if you need help, cause trust me, neither bacon, Courtney or I really relish Delicious. in cooking. This, um, they couldn't be easier. Book of 80 recipes, savory sweet, mac and cheese waffles. Again, this is $19. <laughs> if you have not noticed, it is, little more bigger than the size of your hand and makes a waffle that let me just show you over here this is our bacon and cheese waffle look how thick the waffles are wow yum that's that's twice as thick as like a frozen grocery store waffle and clay you know i'm just going to tell everybody <coughs> excuse me that um, Bless you. for 19 bucks <laughs> this is the most affordable thing in the show and we've had a thousand ordered in both red snowflake and that incredible gingerbread man. I just wow. think it is crazy adorable. <laughs> and you know, I actually take, <coughs> I take the waffles, I freeze them. This is a bag full of frozen waffles. I make a whole bunch of them in advance. This is breakfast for two weeks. All set, all you have to do is put them in the microwave or put them in the toaster and you know exactly what went in them. That's the best part. If you get it from the store, who knows what has it.
this, this is one of my favorite recipes from the book. You can see this is called beach coconut waffles. <gasps> these yeah. are so delicious. We can't keep these in my house. Uh, they are so, so delicious. I have a, I'm going to take you guys in a different direction. Go. Uh, um, um, Please. So do you know any who's keto? Because yes, these yes. waffle yes. makers are like viral on TikTok because of all the ways people will make keto using like cheese or whatever with these little waffle makers. Are you serious? Oh That's my exactly gosh. Right. Yes. It's like if you're keto, like you need a waffle maker. So it would be because a great why? Gift. They don't use they don't they eat don't bread, bread and carbs. Bread and so. Stuff, so they will use the waffle maker to make sandwiches out of cheese as like <gasps> being the base or and they'll make all sorts of pizzas and like like a hot sandwich. Yeah, press. They, yes. And they yes. And you can find all these videos oh. of like interesting recipes people use, but like the waffle maker in the world of keto is like major. Oh my gosh. And this see? is a keto waffle right here. Oh, this is actually, and look, you can see it, it's just like you would hardly be able to tell this is not a regular waffle. I mean, uh, guys. Great, and all of these recipes are right in the book. Waffle and biscuit this is pizza. A peanut butter sauce. Grilled cheese Sammy's mm. waffles. Mm. Egg potato egg waffles. Mm. Um, Yum. Waffles Benedict. Mashed potato bite waffles. Oh, I want that one. Confetti waffles. I do, I do want to say for teenagers and college agers, I think this is a very cool gift. But now that you've opened me up to the world of keto also, it plugs into the wall. And it is the footprint so small that absolutely it is just like a pleasure to have on a countertop. You would certainly not be at all nervous to... Um, purchase it thinking that they maybe don't want like another huge kitchen appliance in their kitchen. And I said it earlier, Clay. So I have a funny story. It's only funny if you know the person in it. Tell so me. just laugh anyway. <laughs> All right. Um, by the way, the red <laughs> snowflake is going fast and then there's gingerbread man. No, red snowflake is gone. They're $19 oh. um, and they're never coming back. So we used to have this host on the host team and every year for Christmas we would have a host luncheon because we all work such crazy schedules. We can't really have like a host party because inevitably someone can't come and it's off premises. So we just do a lunch. Everyone brings their own potluck, their own something and we get together. So this host, he loves waffles so much. Whereas most of us are going to get carry out the Chick-fil-A platter, you know, prepared stuff at Wegmans. He brings in Clay, a huge party size waffle maker. I mean, I swear he had to get a cart to get in the building. That's fun. And the batter. And That's I was like, amazing. wow, this guy's like really committed to waffles. <laughs> now that I know you can make your own fresh waffles with something this small, like I'm totally on the bandwagon now. And look at this. This is the last thing I want to show you. This is a waffle sandwich made with ice cream in the middle, dipped in chocolate and sprinkles. This is such a great summer treat. It's such a great way to get young people excited about cooking. It's new. It's a fresh idea. I think they're fantastic and going fast. Oh, Clay, you and your Yo, fresh you. tapped maple syrup in the backyard. Come yeah. back anytime. Thank you for saving Christmas. Save Christmas for us, well, please. it's not I done yet, it. Clay, but we're working on it. <laughs> Thank All you right. so much. Um, guys, the pajamas that Courtney and I are wearing are available, and I'll just tell you as well, um, I own three.